Okay, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the actual factual that they basically, and I'll punch in taskbar here, and they're not allowing me to, since I'm being mirrored, I'll show you that I got my, and there's my statement, you wanna make sure you read that, that I've got that there, that's actual factual. See, Pan Stars is actually, was not a comet, actual factual. See, I can't hide, you just go back and play that, and you'll see that basically they're in here spying on me. They're mirroring my computer. Backdooring. See, basically, I've got the bar, which is the legal bar, over a barrel. Because there's individuals that are members of the bar that are in a conspiracy that have been kidnapping my kids for a long time. So, And they're in this state that I'm in per currently. And yes, there is a massive... And it's nothing to do with me sharing the actual fact that I would share no matter what anyway. It's just the actual fact that I'm intangibly wealthy, and but I am legally broke. I always will be able to, and I'll never have to file Chapter 11. I never will. You cannot force someone to file Chapter 11. Never will. I don't have to. Uh, that's just it. I don't have to. I'm intangibly wealthy. Uh, crooks are at the poorest people in the world. Let's put it that way. Okay, and then always flip that coin over when you want to talk about how you always talk about they. Okay, now the factual here, I'll try to get my statement. Here you go. Because basically, Pan Stars was absolutely not. Now, the, the we're going to go to here real fast is since they want to see everything to do about my taskbar so that they can make it easier for them to try to factually go through my uh, data. I'll just basically start blinging through the data here. Now, you can see the CMEs that we've had, C classes that have been coming off. And the factual, I'll get back since I've lost what they've got screwing around, but I just don't, I don't have time for editing too much. This is a video that basically I show you the huge comment. Now, I've had people, and basically I can go ahead and show you, make, remember the facts about Pluto. Now, this is not a fact on Pluto. Everything you're seeing here is, but remember what is not a fact is this actual right here. Now, I am a black gold magnet. Uh, basically, there's people in the world that are stinking poor. I mean, they're real stinking poor, okay? So they're real stinking poor, so the idea that they may have actually made some deal with certain, you know, power brokers, magnet. You can look up magnet. There's lots of individuals that are real poor, and they're called magnets. Magnets, okay? There's all kinds of people that are magnets. I like getting things places, so the idea that I'm not going to say anything about mailing something. Okay, there's magnets in the world. Okay, so anyway, somebody has promised or bought Pluto or something, or because it's basically it's a massive planet toy object. And I'm just saying people have. Okay, forget, don't mention countries, and I'm very good at not dropping names, because Pluto is bigger than 715.2 miles, okay? No matter what, they try to downplay it and call it that it that it, it's a. Uh, and then here's an article for you, and then you can see who wrote the article too. Okay, that's a name there for you. Okay, that person wrote this article, and this is factual. This is actual factual data, and it just proves to you that the idea that if the atmosphere goes that far on Pluto, then how can Pluto be that small? Which Pluto is absolutely not that small. So. Uh, let me get my video queued up here. So I got the mirror off my taskbar, and basically, if it's just them, they spy through softwares into your information, and that's why basically you can come to Be No Black to my, you go to my silent, you go to my links that are in my YouTube thing, and you can see how to get rid of all the footprints on your uh, internet tours of anything, okay? Uh, basically, I can secure your emails and I can secure a lot more than that. I can basically secure your computer from all the viruses in the world that are out there, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, come to Be No Black, go to my channel, hit the links there and email me any way that you think is safe and then I'll show you some safer ways to cruise, navigate the internet, okay? And this is actual fact because the idea that the Big Bangs theory is shot all the heck. Anybody that is basically, somebody is a PSYOP op, or basically the big bangs big bangs theory you have to start saying bangs not because there's all kinds of bangs and i'm going to show you some stuff that's going to basically hammer that home to you and the fact that pluto is bigger than what they say and you just by that actual factual article about the atmosphere of pluto you'll realize that pluto is a lot bigger than what they say now i brought my tar bar up that time you see i'm the only one person that can should be able to bring my bar up 
but see, since I'm getting basically illegally mirrored and spied on, but that happens all the time through hacks and trolls all over the world. It's not the government, ladies and gentlemen. If they did, they'd use an, another outside agency, something overseas. Do I get spied on by people from outside overseas? Yes, I do, because that's the only way that your government can spy on you is by using outside agencies from overseas. And plus, at the same time, they're not really, they'll never admit to doing that, actually. It's just big, poor people, okay? Big, poor people do what big, poor people do. Kidnap people's kids using a, yes, it'll be all like, oh, it's always a sad story about being owned because, you know, I'm a machine because the idea that I've been screwed over so much in life by poor people, poor people, and poor people, poor people, flip the coin. It's the positions because the idea that they will go ahead and pressure a wife of yours at the time and then become an ex-wife, which is good, works out for me. But then the actual fact that the idea that her and that she doesn't have a sob story. There's actually no sob story in the world because there is no sob story. She basically was figuring that she could get her fingers in intangible. And basically you can't. You can't touch. You don't touch and then it, you can catch a cold. You can catch a cold by intangibly touching or trying to touch intangible there you go so uh, yes there's always members of the bar that are in the legal professions out there whether they sit with a robe or have a uh, gavel in their hand there is corruption and it is at the highest platitudes okay uh, so actual fact okay can't get away from that and then there's the idea this is real estate and then the idea that real estate is going to start getting stolen through our solar system because it's the closest area that we can start doing stuff like this and it's a known fact that the idea that we can grab a hold of small planetoid objects and more than likely harvest them and then put them in an orbit next to earth now they haven't done it yet believe me they haven't done it yet but they want to and it's going to be it's physics and it can be done and it will be done okay we already harp the weather. They already manipulate the weather. So this is coming. So I'm gonna get start getting into a lot of the data that I've got stored up for you. For now this was a good ballpark guess for people, and I would have somewhat agreed. But basically, when you look at the big orbit outside on Lemon, and then the, the the number one factual is right here. I'm gonna give you the fact that it's not Lemon, because the next previous Parapis, next Parapis is. 1.327 years away. It's going to be in August 19th, 2014. And this lemon is the only lemon that pretty much, this is the only pretty much comment lemon that basically factual should be because I can always, I can show you how, there's lots of lemons, okay? So what hits you right between the eyes is the fact that Bino goes and basically shows you that the idea, they're going to end up having to tell us what comment this is, is because basically it's probably something huge because it's so damn far out. You got to remember that this is probably about 600 million miles from Earth. Or at least the, the the sun for that damn sure. Okay, now good. We're at basically in a view of basically Rigel, Rigel Cantaris, which is basically basically Alpha Centauri A star. It's our closest star to the sun. Okay, and I'll give you a factual on that in a second. And let me punch in Pluto here real fast, and basically this thing will jump to Pluto. And it's not that far away. And then you'll realize that that's the star that you are seeing that's up there by Pluto is one of the ones that is Rigel. But if you keep in the mind of the actual fact of the, the Parapis, okay, the perillion, okay, of the sun, and then also the perigee of Earth, okay, that, that that factually cannot be, it's too far the hell out to be, so we know that it's not that, okay? So factually, they confuse you when you're looking at a map like this and then I'll go down and you'll get, see the template because basically that's Pluto there but you're looking in a bubble 360 degrees basically you have to kind of center yourself to this being Earth here and then I'll put over top of that's basically Mercury there and that's basically Venus there and then you can flip flop it doesn't even matter whether that is Saturn or Jupiter but it does it actually does but see they don't let you know when you're looking at this and this is an actual fresh map that you would be able to go ahead and look at on the plot as you can see see April 21st okay and then I've actually got to go back a page I guess someone decided to give me some love by opening up the map so that comet's gonna be around here by Pluto and it doesn't matter, matter what telescope this is from this shows you Alpha Centauri and Alpha Centauri A okay 
And Alpha Centauri A is closer to us even than the, you know, this, this is not order. This is closer to the sun than Centauri B is, okay? The factual, there is a good example from an actual picture in space, okay? Yes, they can see damn good out in space, okay? So there's some facts for you, okay? This is not no artist rendition. If there's any artist renditioning in this, is that they cropped the different shots together. But from what I understand, that this is one shot, and then they marked it, okay? And yes, basically, uh, BB is basically down here, and it's very tiny, and it's on the very far outside. Actually, I don't even think it might even be in this shot, because it orbits so far out of Alpha Centauri B, okay? So... It's the closest. That's what the reason I'm showing you this is because what they're doing, they're talking about Kepler lately. They're, they're trying to get everybody lost in Kepler. If you've noticed that NASA is talking about Kepler the last few days. Now, if you read this, it's to scale, and this makes you factually know that Pluto is flipping huge. Okay, and then I showed you that article about the atmosphere, how far Pluto's atmosphere stretches out. Now, remember, Mars doesn't have much of an atmosphere, and I'm going to be doing a video updating you on the object, that side spring, that's not more than likely going to hit Mars now that we can tell, okay? But it's still going to be a damn close pass of like 5,500 kilometers or something like 5,500 miles, kind of that ballpark area. Pluto's humongous, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Alpha Centauri is the closest star to the sun, okay? Alpha Centauri B is the closest star with a planet, which your Alpha Centauri BB is at. Cyrus is just the brightest star in the sky. Pentagli is a star with the largest apparent size in the sky. Okay, and there's Charon. It's basically a planetoid object of Pluto. And it's huge too. And then remember all the moons up on Jupiter and Saturn and both are... And then factually we get over here and I'm going to zoom in on Pluto. Because basically this is the magnetical line of Pluto. And then we have whatever super giant stars that we have back there. Remember, if you, if you go back and research the, the 19th, I think it was the second or third month of the 19th of this year, you'll be able to see all the, when they move the satellite, you can see the brightness of the super giant stars. Now, when I move over here, this is the same object that we are seeing right here. Okay, but that's basically, there's a super giant star behind it. That's why it's so hard to see Pluto and see what the heck's actually going on. But this is a great shot that we get in the magnetical because you're going to see the factual that I'll pump this up to 999 real fast and you're going to see the magnetical line of Pluto and you'll see with Pluto being so doggone far away and we'll give you that actual factual data in a few minutes too that's Pluto we finally get a great look at Pluto that is Pluto and if I'm even possibly even wrong that's Pluto that's Pluto the magnetical line and then I scoot over and the factual there's the magnetical line and that's Pluto out there okay that's Pluto and it sure the hell should be that right there okay that should be Pluto okay so you get a great and we'll move over to see Earth there's Earth okay there's more than likely Mercury and there's more than likely Mercury's shadow over there or even possibly Earth's shadow that is the Sun over here to the right okay and as you see Earth and Mercury mark and this is all factual, hitting everybody with the facts. I live on the facts all the time, 24-7. I cannot stand liars, and I can't stand thieves. And there are some of the poorest thieves in the world, and I mean poorest, and I mean flip the coin over. Yes, yeah, some of the richest people in the world are thieves, and they never get in trouble because they never get prosecuted because they control the bar. They don't control my bar, and I can drink anytime I want. So here's Pluto, the actual fact. The idea that Pluto's huge, okay, and then it's got moons around it too that are huge, factual. So let me get you on the data on Pluto too, I believe. I've got sitting right here, and then we'll compute this up. We'll give you how far Pluto is actually away, and that's why it looks so small. And then that's the factual why that con. See, they can always lie about the size of Pluto because it's so damn far out. Now you can realize how huge Pluto is by me showing you. Go back to the gray shot because I don't have time in the video. But you can realize since it's so damn far out how they can lie about how huge it is, okay? And the factual that this thing is closer, I mean, it is somewhat close. It's always, I mean, it's closer to the satellite than it is to uh, Pluto. You see what I'm saying? So the factual is this thing is big. The, the satellite might be making it look a little bit big, but it's still, it's damn good size. And it, slight possibility, but the the Parapis, the Parapis is not till the, of 2014. 
So keep this in mind factual scientifically, okay? I really don't think that that's it. So it'll be interesting what somebody says that it is. You know, it might be able to tr trust space weather.